list, list, list. They're complicated, they're difficult. In this tutorial, obviously I'm not building a full app. I just wanna focus on them because list, again, they aren't the easiest thing in the world to understand. So if you're confused about it or not really sure how to approach this, you need to know how to use a list and how to use data. So in, the, in this next little bit of this video, that is what I'm walking through, totally focused on lists. Once you master this, you'll make an awesome hackathon app. Let's get going. So you're on this extra hackathon and you're like, wait a minute, how do I use a list? Well, let me show you. I'm starting off with obviously just a blank screen. I'm not gonna build all this out. I'm gonna get right to the list component. What you need is data. Boom, here we are, data. Well, that's kind of scary looking, data. Pick something, anything, uh, science, right? Or uh, I don't know, they have a ton of cool stuff. I'm literally gonna randomly do, okay, let's do best-selling video games. You pick something and you gotta hit import, critical. You also probably wanna look at it. So I'm gonna preview, oh, Minecraft. I love Minecraft. I used to host a Minecraft server for kids at the Boys and Girls Club, I'm not kidding. Uh, but look, all right, that's a ton of data. And we can use any of this, by the way, the title, the sales, the platforms. I can put any of this into a list. So the important part of that though, is that I hit import. If it is not here, you haven't imported it. So find a list or find a, some data that you love. Boom, done. Headed to the code. Now, how do I use that data? And again, I'm just focusing on lists for this tutorial. I'm gonna throw var and I'm gonna say um, name list because first I'm gonna get the names of all the video games. Now I have a variable named name list and I need to use data get column. What column? Well, choose. The only thing listed here is video games because that is all I have imported. Great, that's what I want to use. Just click. Now I can use the video games. Now what column do I want? Well, choose. All right, I'm going to take the, not the ID, the title. I'm going to use the title. All right. So I want to get this stuff on the screen. All right, right now it does nothing. Well, to do that, and again, I already set up a text box here, right? Design, click, text area. I'm gonna use a set text, and the ID for my box over there is output area. Now, what text do I want? First, I gotta kill the quotes, because all of this, it's not gonna be in quotes, it's a variable. Lists are weird. Lists start at zero, they index at zero, arrays. If I'm saying complicated stuff, good. We'll get the hang of it. So name list, oh, that's an O, zero. And what this will do, slaps Minecraft out, good. All right, so it grabs my text area, it grabs name list, what's names list? Uh, zoop, zoop. This whole column is what that is, and it grabs zero. Lists start at zero. So I know this ID says one, right, because it's the first thing in the list, but a computer says, okay, this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. Everything's down by one, right? Because the computer starts counting at zero. So index zero is Minecraft. And if you aren't getting it, well, here, here's index one. That's Grand Theft Auto V, right? Boom. Which they won't give up because of online content. Uh, Rockstar, come talk to me. Anyways, that's Grand Theft Auto V, right? And then two will actually be, whoops, will actually be the third item on the list. So on and so forth. Now, if you want to push a whole list, or you wanna see a whole list, right? Maybe you do. I would do a control for I. What this will do, and I can show you with the council log real quick. It's gonna print, it's gonna go through numbers one, two, four. So I'm gonna delete all this, I. All right, and now let me hit reset and run. It's gonna print out here, zero, one, two, three, four. And that's because I, this says I start at zero, I is less than four, so the second it's not less than four, it stops running. Add one to I each time. I starts at zero. Well, what's the zero item in our list? And boom, it puts out zero, puts out one, puts out two. Once it hits the bottom, by the way, I starts at zero. It goes through and says, okay, zero. Slaps that on the screen, hits the bottom of the for loop, zoop, back up here, and it says, oh yeah, because plus plus means add one. So zero plus one is one. And is one less than four? Yep, it is. So it puts one on the screen. Hits the bottom, goes back to the top, and it says one plus one is two, shockingly. Is two less than four? Yes, and so it outputs two, right? Plus plus just means go up by one. Now watch this. So I can still leave I on the screen. I'm gonna do a plus and now do, I don't know, we'll do a space and a colon thing. You don't have to do this. I'm just showing you how this would work, right? And I'll do my name list I. 
And keep in mind, I starts at zero, right? All the way to three. Reset and run. Boom. Out we go. Okay? So it prints out all of these first items of our list. And that's how you can use a list. This only goes to four. My list is a lot longer. So if you're searching for something in your project, which you probably are, you want to make sure to actually do whatever the name of the list is dot length. And what that does is say, hey, computer, you need to go through the entire list right now. I need the entire list and you put out that stuff. So now if I hit reset run, this would print out literally everything on the list we have that pushes out all of the names. If you want to put out just one thing, maybe you're searching for something. So maybe I would do var. I don't have anything on the screen here, but I could do var um, game. And maybe since it's a name list, I need to be exact. I'll look for Minecraft or no, let's not do the first one, I guess. Uh, duck hunt. Okay. So I'm going to do duck space hunt in quotes. And now I'm asking the computer find that in the list. So I need to, instead of doing this, I'm going to get rid of that and I'll put an if, right? If uh, name list I equals equals uh, game equals my variable. And maybe if you're doing this with an input box, you would do get text, right? But if it equals this, if this item in the list equals my variable duck hunt, I mean, I can have it do anything I want, really. I could set the text. I'll set the text of this thing to, I could have it tell me the index. I could have it say text. I could have it say game. I'll have it tell me the index. So I'm going to do I plus, and maybe I'll do a hyphen. Again, I can do whatever here. Plus, uh, and I'll do name list I. So tell me if the location of it and tell me that name again. Choop, choop. Boom. Yep. 20 is the index of it and the name. This is how you can use input, by the way, to get stuff into a list. So that's how lists work. The trickiest thing is, is that they're indexed at zero. The way to get through an entire list is this thing right here. You need dot length to loop through the whole thing. Obviously, you're going to want on events for your actual app. But ta-da lists. I hope you make something really cool.